Good morning, morning, K.E. I think this week is going to be great. Do you? Yes, it's going to be great, but it's also going to start getting cold. Of let's, speaking of, let's move on to Adrian for the weather. Oh, hi, K.E. I'm Adrian, and I'm going to be telling you the weather this week. Friday, there's a high of 74 and a low of 49. Saturday, a high of 74 and a low of 51. Sunday, high of 74 and a low of 54. Monday, a high of 77 and a low of 62. Tuesday, a high of 74 and a low of 64. Wednesday, a high of 70 and a low of 58. And a 50% chance of rain. Make sure to grab that umbrella. Thursday, a high of 67 and a low of 53. Getting chilly. Friday, a high of 61 and a low of 57. And have you noticed the leaves are finally changing colors? Well, I sure have. Bye, K.E. Well, it is getting cold. I hope it's not too cold to celebrate or have a party, Whitley. Goes, this is Whitley, and there are seven big birthdays this week. Happy birthday to Eva Beckner, Malia Harris, Lorelai Jennings, Kinsley Saligo, Austin Linder, Brock McIntyre, and the last one is Drake Williams. I hope you guys have an amazing birthday. Make sure to come to the library for a birthday book. Cool. I wish it was my birthday. Me too, but that's a lot of events. Speaking of, let's go to Cambria to tell you of the upcoming events. Good morning, K.E. Today, I'm going to be talking about upcoming events. The book fair is the 20th through the 27th. On the 25th, there will be an awards assembly at the gym. On the 24th, there is a dine to donate at Dairy Queen. On the 26th, there are parent-teacher conferences. And there will be no school Friday the 27th. On the 31st, there is a fall party. That sounds amazing. Thank you for listening. Bye! Well, that's big. You know what else is big? Halloween. It is big. Now let's go to Aubrey for trick-or-treat, treating safety tips and popular costumes. Thanks, anchors. I'm going to be talking about Halloween. I have a few tips for you. Tip one, you might want to bring some sorts of light, like a flashlight or a glow stick. Tip two, don't cut through lawns. If you're not paying attention, you could trip and fall. Tip three, bring a parent and try not to go late. The later it is, the darker it is, and there are more chances you could get hurt. Now time for some popular Halloween costumes. This year, the most popular Halloween costume is Barbie. Obviously, the second most popular Halloween costume will be Ken. Third is Wednesday Addams. Fourth is Mario. Fifth is Luigi. There are some popular Halloween ideas, but make sure to be creative. Back to Elira and Easton. Wow, spooky season is really kicking in. Yes, but we still need to be on our best behavior. I agree. Now let's go to Ellie for Star Assembly. Hi, Bulldogs. This is Ellie Arway from Broadcasting. I'm here to tell you about the ways your teacher will be picking star students each quarter. Your teacher will be picking a student for each letter of star. S, safe. T, trustworthy. A, active learner. And R, be respectful. Let's talk about the how you can be each letter of star in the classroom. S, be safe. Keep hands, feet, and objects to self. Take responsibility for your belongings. T. Tush, trustworthy. Use time wisely. Complete assigned tasks. A. Active learner. Follow directions and be a problem solver. R. Be respectful. Be respectful. Use kind words and actions. Be polite and use your manners and take care of school property. That's how you can be a good star student in the classroom. That's it. Have a good rest of your day, Bulldogs. Wow. Guess what? A heater went missing. Really? Well, how about Tucker tell us about it? Good morning, K.E. This is Tucker with a special report. There has been a crime in the office. A heater has gone missing. The secretaries are losing feelings in their fingers and toes. We have printed wanted posters and hung them around the building. If you know anything about this missing heater, please contact Mr. Masco. If it is you that has stolen this heater, no questions will be asked. Please just quietly return to the office. A reward of 20 Starbucks will be given to the student who solves the crime. Teachers, you will be rewarded if you find 
a sonic drink of your choice. It will be provided to you. Happy Hedo hunting. Well, that gave a laugh, but nothing gives a laugh like Tiny Talk. Let's go on to Tiny Talk for the laugh of the day. Welcome back to Asking Tiny Humans Tiny Questions with a Tiny Microphone. This is Olivia R. and Raylan C. What's your name? Eli. If you could be one animal, what would you be? A deer. Why? Because. Thank you. What's your name? Lady. What is your favorite place in the world? Uh, we'll get fun. Why? Hi. Thank you. What's your name? Jordan. What makes you happy? Um, playing with my um baby sister. Why? Because she likes to laugh at me and I like to share with her. Thank you. What's your name? Riley. What is your favorite book? Um, me. Why? Because there's dogs in it. Thank you. That's all for asking tiny humans tiny questions with a tiny microphone. Have a great week. Now back to the anchors. <laughs> well, that is all. This is Elira and Easton signing, signing off. off. Bye.